Okay, so I am just getting ready to go to <clears throat> my doctor who did my Botox and my lips. I got my lips done like a little over a year ago. And I think they look good. I would just say that like the one, like see how they are? Like one is tipped up. That's what happens. That's my normal lip. That's what my lips normally look like. It's not the filler, but I want to see if they can fix, like make it more symmetrical. And then I am showing y'all close. I want to see what they can do about this. And if we can put filler in my lines. So I'm going to take you guys along with me and if they will let me film, usually they do. So if they do and forgive the breakout um if they do you guys can come with me and we can discuss like the benefits of filler in your lines versus like just getting botox and i think for me it's going to be a situation where um it lasts longer because like i said i got them done a year ago and they still look pretty full and i'm like if i put that in my lines like that should last right i'm thinking so like maybe it costs a little bit extra today but in the long run it's better i mean like if it's like two thousand dollars i'm not doing that but we'll see what they say so anyway all right can we just like talk about the whole pressure to like not grow old, to like be beautiful and thin and like never get a wrinkle. I mean, the pressure is crazy because like I'm on my way to my doctor, right? Which you guys might know and that's and to deliver a toddler bed to my granddaughter. But anyway, and I'm just thinking about how like I got a, ja I packed a jacket because my arms I feel like are too big. I bought a stationary bike so I can lose weight. And I'm not saying anything's wrong with like losing weight. That's perfectly fine. But it also is like almost like crazy to me to go against like, I'm 46 years old. Like every woman I know, not well, not every woman I know, but a lot of women I know, if you don't go to extreme measures at our age, like, you're gonna gain some weight you know what I mean and it's like frowned upon but that's natural it's natural to gain weight in your middle ages like I don't know but anyway and I think about it and I'm like how many times I don't know like and then we have like all these social media stuff like we're looking at JLo and she's 50 and we're looking at like Cher and she's like I don't know. I don't know how old Cher is, like 70 or something, and they look like they're in their 20s. Like, but the thing is, like, take into consideration that's not normal. It's not normal for a woman to look like that at that age. They have everything that riches can provide doctors and surgeries, you know what I'm saying? And like, the best skincare and chefs and like, you know, workout people, they, they have a team to make them look that good. You know what I mean? Like they, they wouldn't look that good if they was, you know what I'm saying? If their jobs were dental hygienists, you know, or like something normal. So I'm just thinking like, I have so much I could be doing with this money, but I'm going to go put some needles in my face because you know what I'm saying like does that even make sense that I'm taking away from other things I could be doing to put it to put some needles in my face but I feel pressure and I'm in the beauty industry you know I do hair and so you know and I have like fashion pages and you know this channel and so I feel like I, ha I put this pressure on myself like it's like I can't have a wrinkle in my forehead or between my eyes and I gotta have these big juicy lips and no would I do it for myself yes I do it for myself because I want to but I'm wondering if the pressure wasn't there like built in all around me would I just accept the fact that I'm chunky and wrinkly and I'm 46 would I be okay with that I mean probably not I don't know but anyway, that was just my random thoughts on the way to the doctor's office today. I'm just like, you know, I don't know. Like
like why it just seems abnormal to put the pressure on an older woman to look like a younger woman like why why can't we just pass the buck to the young girls and be like okay chickies you take it now like what what is this like why can't 46 and 50 and 60 and those ages just be whatever they come to be without us sticking needles in our faces and you know what I'm saying never eating cake or you know what I'm saying drinking wine if that's your thing or you know what I'm saying like watching every single thing that goes into your mouth and sweating on the bike you know what I mean like uh, I don't know my random crazy thoughts this morning but I'm still gonna go stick them needles in my face <laughs> and catch you at the doctor's office all right so this is what it looks like after like this is probably about 10 minutes after my appointment my lip is swollen my forehead was like bleeding um this isn't like super I don't know if this happened to me the last time I'm on. This is only the second time that I've gotten lip filler. I just wanted her to like, well, a husband and wife. And the husband is like the plastic surgeon. And the wife, um, she's a, oh, like a nurse practitioner. So like, you know, Dr. Creds. And she did it for me this time. And it was a little bit different, but I figured it was going to be different because I already had filler in my lips from before. Um, but she was really concerned because I bruised, but I bruised the first time too. So I wasn't super concerned, but she gave me a shot of prednisone. And then I got, I added um, some Botox to like my, it'll like lift my eyes up a little bit, which I think is what my doctor did the first time because I had a more lifted effect so I will like I guess you guys will see later um what it ends up looking like um wondering if the prednisone shot is going to make it less um swollen quicker because I did swell the first time too so I don't know looking for my son's street and I came a different way than I normally do um but yeah so that is what I have done and they're pretty swollen right now so they should go down um because they've got oh and I get a dental block so I don't feel any of this I get they numb me and then they give me a dental block so I never feel them doing any of the work that they do and I don't feel like all I feel right now is like numb so yeah pretty huh all right guys let me just sign off here I'm at home but I wanted to give you like a good look at what it looks like <laughs> um right now so I had something strange happen to me, like with the numbing stuff when she gave my dental block was like dripping in my mouth for some reason. And this side like already like swole up when she did the dental block it was super weird, super random. And it bruised, which I think is normal for me cause I bruised last time too. And then this time I got extra Botox in the I think she said the lateral I don't know but it kind of lifts the eye to give like that well it lifts the eye so um but yeah so anyway hopefully this video wasn't all over the place I love you guys if you don't already subscribe subscribe come be part of our family and in my next video hopefully you will see what it's supposed to look like <laughs> sans the swelling love you guys bye